Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Oh, hello everyone. It's Chef Fafa here of Ndudu by Fafa. Thank you again for joining me in my kitchen. And today on the menu, I do have something exciting. A whole baked salmon. I tell you what, this is going to be incredible. For this recipe, you will need 3.5 kilograms of fresh whole salmon. Let your fishmonger descale it and gut it for you. You'd also need a bunch of spring onions, 25 grams of fresh thyme, four sprigs of rosemary, four large potatoes, one teaspoonful of milled black peppercorn, 20 grams of ginger, one large lemon, 15 milliliters of olive oil, one tablespoonful of chipotle chilies, one teaspoonful of dried dill, one jalapeno chili and salt to taste. My surprise ingredient today is the green tomato. I'll talk about it later. If you don't have access to chipotle chilies, um, you can use red chilies, but you have to use it sparingly. This recipe is not only healthy, but it's just gonna be delicious. Crispy skin, moist in the middle. <laughs> you know how I like it. It's just gonna be perfect. <laughs> so to start this off, I'm actually going to be using my potatoes. Now there's no need to actually peel the skin of the potatoes because it has actually got nutrients in it as well. Um, and I'm going to be using that as the base uh, for my salmon. So it's just perfect, just like this. And I'll be using my mandolin to thinly slice this. Take all necessary precautions when dealing with the mandolin slicer. A 3.5 kilograms in weight of salmon could serve between 10 to 15 people. Spread your potatoes evenly in your baking tray. Add salt to taste. Finely chop two sprigs of rosemary. Sprinkle your rosemary over the potatoes for that beautiful aromatic flavour. Add your freshly milled black peppercorn and lay your salmon over the potatoes. Score your fish by making vertical slits on both sides of the fish. This would allow the fish to incorporate the marinade that I'm about to make. For the marinade, finely chop your thyme, roughly chop your onion flowers or you can use spring onions. Transfer the herbs into a bowl and don't be as messy as I am. <laughs> Roughly chop your jalapeno chili. I just need that little heat in the background. I think that will just be perfect. Add your jalapeno chili to the herb mixture. Grate about 10 grams of ginger over your salmon. Using your clean fingers, wrap the ginger all over the skin and into the crevice of the salmon as well. This would actually give the salmon a beautiful aromatic taste, especially when it's baking in the oven. The smell would just be incredible. Grate the zest of one lemon all over the salmon. The zest of the lemon has the oils of the lemon which would infuse into the skin and crevices of the fish. It's just going to be incredible. Continuing with my marinade. After using the zest of the lemon, I'm actually going to be using the juice for the herb mixture. And the way to get the juice flowing is to massage the lemon in between your palm. Cut it in half and take away all the seeds and just squeeze the juice into your herb mixture. There's always going to be a naughty one or two seeds that would escape. Now let me take them off. It's cleaning time, just need to make sure my surfaces are perfect. <laughs> Add 
the olive oil to the herb mixture. Add your dried dill or you can use fresh dill if you have access to that. Add salt to taste. Add your chipotle chilies. If you don't have access to chipotle chilies, <laughs> you can use red chilies. Pour your marinade over the fish, ensuring you add in some of the marinade into the gut of the fish as well. Insert three sprigs of rosemary into the gut of the fish and the remaining ginger as well. This would mean while the fish is baking, the rosemary and ginger would infuse inside as well, which I think is going to be incredible. Ensure you marinate both sides of the fish. And because it's got lemon in it as well, the fish will start to cook. So which means you would actually need less time to cook in the oven. Ooh, perfect stuffing. Sprinkle with a little bit of chipotle chilies. Stuff your fish with onion flowers or spring onions and set aside. This stage, preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Found these beautiful green tomatoes at my local grocer's and I had to have them. The taste is actually a cross between Granny Smith apples as well as cucumber. It's incredible and it would work well with this recipe. Thinly slice the tomatoes using your mandolin slicer or you can use your knife. Can use your normal red tomatoes if you don't have access to the green ones. Now just layer a few slices over the fish before I bake it because then it will just be lovely and crispy as well as the crispy skin and that will just be beautiful. Drizzle with a little olive oil and your fish is ready for the oven. But before I do that, I'll take some pictures from my Instagram page so that everybody knows what I'm up to. <laughs> wow, now my salmon looks perfect and this is ready for the oven. Now bake the salmon for 15 minutes at 200 degrees and reduce the heat to 180 degrees and cook further for another 20 minutes. Now for the green salad to accompany my dish, you will need one large green tomato, 25 grams of fresh parsley, 30 grams of spring onions or onion flowers, half a large avocado, juice of half a lemon, one tablespoonful of olive oil, a pinch of chipotle chilies and salt to taste. Roughly chop your spring onions. Roughly chop the parsley as well. And chop your green tomatoes, which is gonna add this beautiful crunchiness, slightly sour and sweet taste. It's just gonna be incredible. Assemble your salad in a bowl. Now slice your avocado and cut it in half, twist in the opposite direction to release it and then just, um, just slice it in between, vertically and horizontally and then just push it out and you've got your cubed avocado and add it to your salad. Add a pinch of salt to taste and sprinkle with a little bit of chipotle chilies. Add a dash of olive oil and mix everything together. Quarter a few lemons and serve on the side. Juice the rest of the lemons over the salad and mix well and set aside. Your salmon should be ready now. Oh yummy! That's just beautiful. It's got that beautiful crisp skin and it's just moist inside. Oh, this is just gorgeous. This is like, oh, yum. Oh, yes. I'm ready to serve now. Start with the salad at the base and then I just add my salmon pieces, which is just gonna be incredible. Mm. The 
that should be enough right oh no i think i'm just gonna go for a chunky one <laughs> i am greedy like that oh yum and look at that potato oh god that juice it's just incredible In Dubai Fafa on Instagram, I'm on Facebook and Twitter, also under Indu Dubai Fafa. For more inspiring recipes, it's indudubaifafa.blogspot.com. Now I'm ready to tuck in. <laughs> oh, thank you for joining me. Now you should be able to make this. It's just yummy. I tasted it, now I'm getting sick of my pictures.